Good morning. Today I'm going to be working on the boat here. The engine is making the beeping noise. The engine alarm is beeping continuously. And you know that beeping alarm is for uh, the oil pressure is not good. So when you turn the ignition on your boat before it starts, there's no oil pressure. So the alarm starts going. And then usually when you uh, fire up the engine, the oil pressure kicks in and the alarm turns off. Uh, but it's also there for high temperature. There's a temperature sensor on the uh, thermostat housing, which uh, also triggers the alarm. So if your boat overheats, then uh, the alarm should start beeping at you to give you a warning. Last time I was out, my boat was beeping continuously. And uh, so we were concerned about the temperature. We came in, I came home and uh, let the boat cool down. And uh, Actually, the gauge, you know, the temperature gauge was showing normal, so that was uh, another indicator that there might be something wrong with the temperature sensor. Anyways, I got home and let the boat cool down, and the, the alarm was going as soon as I started up the engine when it was cold, so that uh, suggested that maybe there's a problem with the sensor. Anyways, we're going to test that today, and uh, if that turns out to be the case, we'll replace the sensor see if the problem goes away. All right, so here we have the schematic, the wiring diagram for the 4.3 liter engine. It's a GL engine dash B, I think. Anyways, uh, here's the uh, this orangish peach colored wire here is the circuit for the alarm. And the first sensor here is that uh, temperature sensor that's in the thermostat housing. The second sensor here is the oil pressure sensor. And then these two sensors are the exhaust manifold temperature sensors. So you can see all four of those sensors are just in uh, parallel. So any one of those sensors going to ground activates the beeping alarm. Over here, Item number 21, this is on a separate circuit. This is the temperature gauge sender. So this uh, gives you the reading on your dashboard between, uh, I can't remember, 120 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature gauge sender unit. So back to here, we should be looking at these four sensors for a beeping alarm that uh, does not go off. So if you have the beeping alarm, you can disconnect a wire on any one of these individually at one at a time, and uh, that could help you diagnose which sensor is uh, causing the issue. And then you can either figure out, is the temperature high, is the oil pressure low, or is the sensor faulty? All right, so I have the uh, water cooling attachment on to give us some cooling water so I can run the engine. And I've removed the cover for the engine so I can get better access to some of the sensors that we need to take a look at. I am uh, going to fire up the engine and see if our alarm is still beeping or not here momentarily. Yeah, before I get the engine going here, so there's uh, this alarm is kind of back here. If you cover up this black cylindrical thing, you can hear the tone change. That's the alarm. We have a few temperature sensors. This is the one that's suspect right down here. Um, and it's suspect because when the engine was cool, the alarm was going off. And then when I was diagnosing after being out on the lake, I took that wire off and fired up the engine and the alarm was not going and then I put it back on and the alarm was going so kind of a on off on test <clears throat> there's this uh, temperature sensor there's a couple up here one on the uh, exhaust manifold on each side could be those I'm not sure if there's any other ones I don't see any other ones now, interesting though, the gauge, the temperature gauge in the cluster, there's a sensor, it's really, really hard to see, 
but it's underneath these hoses. You can kind of see the wire. Maybe this angle here, you can see it. There's a wire attached to a sensor there. And that is a separate sensor which gives you the reading on the temperature gauge. So we got that one, that's separate circuit, so it has nothing to do with the beeping alarm from what I understand. Also the beeping alarm, it's going off right now because there's no oil pressure. There's an oil pressure sensor. It's way over here. I, can, I can't even see it on my engine without taking off all this uh, wood accessories or uh, decking here. So we're not gonna do that today. I'm pretty sure it's a temperature sensor. We'll fire up the engine here. Right, I don't hear the alarm going anymore. Yeah, of course, so now that I'm making the video, it uh, seems okay, but I definitely know that this sensor was causing the alarm to go off a few days ago, and it was kind of flaky, like it wasn't really loud, so um, you know, I'm not sure exactly what's going on inside that sensor, but on my diagnosis before, it was definitely that sensor. Just a tip here, if you want to test your your electric, your uh, temperature sensors. If you short the wire side to the ground side, okay, you know that that one's working. Try this one. This other one here, I need to expose the terminal a little bit, so I'll do that with the engine off, so I don't cut my finger off. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately for the video here, it, you know, it wasn't replicating the sound, but when I uh, diagnosed the other day, like I said, this this sensor was suspect. So I'm, I did order one. I'm gonna go ahead and change that out and uh, maybe we'll re measure the resistance to see once we get it out what the resistance is. But it's basically like a switch and uh, once it reaches a certain temperature, the switch closes and completes the circuit for the beeping alarm. So. If you uh, can find the sensors and understand how they work, they're pretty easy to diagnose and uh, figure out which one's causing the problem. All right, I'll go ahead and change that. should uh, turn off the water. Forgot about that. Okay, so this is our old sensor. I had cleaned it up a little bit earlier when I was testing it. Now, if you look for the Volvo part number, the sensor's about a hundred bucks 
from Volvo. I looked around for uh, a similar match at an auto parts store. And honestly, it was a, a real struggle to find the cross-reference that matched. And so Volvo, would it, I ended up having a Volvo part number. I cross-referenced it to a Sierra boat part number. The Sierra boat part number was still around 100 bucks. Um, Cross-referencing it further on auto store websites and sensor manufacturers' websites, I found that there is a, a new Sierra part number which replaced an old Sierra part number. The new Sierra part number I was able to cross-reference to this TS25101. And uh, this sensor was 30 bucks delivered through Amazon, roughly. And uh, I think I could have gotten it for actually about $15 at a parts auto parts store. But you know, I was running out of time, so I just wanted to get it. Well, they're both open when it's cold, so I guess that does make sense. I'm just gonna check the threads here, make sure they're the same. They're the same. Should be tapered, it's like a pipe thread. This one doesn't, uh, it's hard to tell if that's tapered or not. Looks kind of straight. The thread feels good. Matches. Turn on the water. Okay, thanks for watching. So far, uh, just replaced the sensor, put the wire back on. I uh, just jumped these two sensors here to just kind of confirm that uh, they are not shorting. I don't think they're part of the problem. They seem to be okay. And, uh, I've run the boat, I've run it up to temperature. This uh, the thermostat. Or like the water thermostat's working properly, so it's you know it's not overheating, but it's up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. I think the sensor goes off at uh, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. If I look at my gauge, 
regular temperature is 175. So maybe 190, probably around 190. Uh, the high end of my temperature gauge is 220. That would make sense. Anyways, this is only, uh, while we're running here, it's only coming up to 123 degrees Fahrenheit in the driveway, but uh, probably under higher RPM and some load and some extended periods of time with the cover on, probably gets a little hotter. Uh, but definitely it's not beeping anymore and uh, I'm confident that the circuit's working because when I jump out these sensors uh, I do get the alarm. So I'm going to put the cover back on and uh, call it a day. Hopefully uh, we're going out tomorrow so hopefully this doesn't come up as an issue and uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful in diagnosing your uh, beeping alarm problems of your own if you're searching on YouTube. I uh, appreciate you watching. So please uh, click like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below if you have uh, further insight. I am not a mechanic, uh, just a weekend warrior mechanic here. So uh, I enjoy troubleshooting and trying to figure out these uh, problems and seeing if I can fix them on my own. So anyways, again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.